Hello, this is Max with Avon Website Pro, and today we're going to be talking about sanitizing a string before you insert it into your database. And this lesson is closely related to the last lesson. So we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little demo of what's going on here. If you could look at the PHP MyAdmin, if we select from all users, there's nothing in the table just yet. However, we'll go ahead and put some information in here. Maximus, put a username of Maximus in here. And let's put an email of max at a1websitepro.com. And then we'll put a password of just pass. Okay, P-A-S-S. -S. I'll submit that to the database. And you can see we'll get uh, the uh, information back like we did in the last lesson with our encrypted password. If we go to our database now and click on users, you can see that we have the username of Maximus, the email, and the password. But what's different about this than the last one? Well, what's different about this particular lesson is I'm going to teach you how to sanitize these strings before they get into your database where someone, if someone's signing up to be a member on your site, they could wreak havoc if you do not sanitize those strings. So if we take a look at the last lesson here, it's pretty much everything is the same thing as far as the index.php. However, whenever you get to the processor, this is where things are going to change. Okay, so let me go ahead by first uh, put, putting in some code here and explaining the difference between the two methods. In this particular method here, we're not sanitizing anything. We're taking what is ever entered in that post variable, store it in a variable of name, and then right down here, we're inserting it right into our database, you know, in the username. Okay, so that's unsafe. You don't want to do this. However, since we have just a string of a username, this is how we're going to sanitize the string. All right, so we could take this one out totally and so the first thing we do is we do mysql real escape string okay this is our connection to our database and you notice i have the config file up here and if you look at the config file they're getting the con from right here and then within the mysql connect i have my local host db username database password database name all located in db.php okay and if we fail to connect, then I'm going to echo out this little error, else I'm just going to echo nothing. This means it's successful. Okay, So let's go back into the sanitize the string. The next string that we want to sanitize is an email. But notice this filter sanitize string right here. Okay, This is going to change for the email. And let me show you what I mean. Notice here, this is filter sanitize string. This particular one is filter sanitize email. Okay, and what we're doing is we're sanitizing that email. So if any other characters except for characters that are um, used in an email address will be filtered out. Okay, so that's what that's what we're doing there. Now finally, we're going to uh, do the password, and let me sanitize this password by taking and putting that in there and we can remove this particular one so we're now the password is just nothing more than a string so we could just you know it, and it's allowed to have you know uh, some characters in it some special characters so we're just going to sanitize that string just like we did name okay and then finally we're going to take pass clean and put it into our hash password okay and store it in this variable and then whenever we insert it into our database we have hash okay so basically this is what we're doing to sanitize our strings that people use on the site whenever they come over and so that's pretty much the only difference I did want to go over with you uh, some of the sanitized filters that we have in the PHP manual so Here's the filter sanitize email. You'll notice it removes all characters except letters, digits, and, and these signs. Okay. Uh, there's several other ones too. Um, 
this filter sanitizing code that uh, encodes a URL string optionally strips the encode special characters. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down to the one that we use. I'll have a link to this at A1 Website Pro and in the description so that you'll be able to, um, you know, grab these things quickly. Uh, here's the one that we use mostly, filter sanitize string. Now this strips tags, optionally strips or encodes special characters. Okay, and you can use these different flags on it. Okay, low, high, filter flag encode low, filter flag encode high, and so on and so forth. And you could Google these to see uh, what these each stand for. But I wanted to give you guys a way to easily filter your strings so you know that whenever things are coming over, you're going to have to uh, sanitize them before you insert them into your database. Okay, so this is a, kind of like a, a precursor to the next lesson where we're going to do a login script and um, we're going to use the same type of sanitization methods whenever somebody logs in to the uh, our little application that we're going to be creating and you know, whenever they put in their username, their password, if they need, you need to do a lost password uh, script, uh, which we're going to be getting into as well. Uh, you'll be using all this, all this, in every one of them, so we can sanitize our strings and make sure that our database does not get corrupted. This is Maximus with A1 Website Pro, and I hope you learned how to sanitize your strings.